All right, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to take this thing out bashing. Even though I don't have the right front upper bulkhead, I'm just ready to rip it. I don't have the part. Got some batteries charged up, but I got the new ESC in there. I gotta get it programmed. So before I program it, I need to figure out If it's going the right direction, do I need to make some other changes? You know, just just things like that, just normal normal stuff. So, when doing it, you definitely don't want it on the ground. I find it's easier just to beat these things in. I'm going to try putting the batteries in backwards this time. These batteries do fit kind of snug. Let's see if my, uh, my plug will reach. That seems to be okay. Let's see if we made this thing long enough. This battery's got to go upside down. That was wrong. Something is wrong. Well, let's see. Yep. One hundred percent wrong. That don't even matter at this point. And that's what happens when you put your battery connectors on wrong. I'm glad that was on camera. Gotta love it. So... And double checking and I thought I double checked this yesterday but I was cooking turkey ham tired up all morning and I made a mistake the round side is on ground and on this one I put the round side on ground so it was wrong So, we'll need to fix one of the batteries, and I'll need to check the condition of them. Ah, that will not come off. So this ESC is junk. So 
So we're going to pull it back out. And then I'm going to go spend a couple hundred dollars replacing it. So let me pop this thing back out. It's funny, RC Guy Garage did this once. And I was like, how is that possible? And this morning I was going to double check the wires and I was like, nah, I did it right. Out of probably 50 I've done, I finally made my first mistake with one. Let's see. I was like, did I pinch a wire? And it's funny, it wasn't, it wasn't even coming out of the caps. It was coming out of the side, and I'll show you the side of the ESC. See if this will get it. So right here, that's where the flame came from, right on top of that cap right there so let me uh, see if there's another ESC in stock all right so just like that on camera $160 we're going to try this again and hope that I don't make the same mistake twice and this time definitely got to check the batteries and make sure they're okay and then uh, charge them up, which I'm not going to charge them up now, but I definitely got to fix that battery. Uh, the power came off, and the connector on both ends are no good. So, I don't know how much of this soldering I'm going to show, since I just showed this in a video yesterday. You know, you get to that point where you just feel like an idiot, you know? And that's the way I'm feeling right now, is I'm feeling like an idiot, but, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? Mistakes happen, and it will cost you not paying attention. And I always double-check my connections. It's not like it's the first time on these connectors that I've soldered them backwards. I've just never plugged them in backwards, um, because I usually know better. Because, like I said, I have done it to where I've hooked it up backwards. So I'm going to try to make this the same length as the burnt up ESC. Where is the burnt up ESC? Here it is. So I've already cut this off. So here's my jumper. I'm going to give it a little extra because... I noticed the batteries were kind of tight. Feel like a uh, deja vu. And it's very easy that I could just delete all this footage out, show the new ESC in, and uh, and not admit to my mistake, but that's just not what this channel is about. Everybody makes mistakes. It happens, and there's not much you can do about it, except move on and uh, and get it fixed. So we need the male side. couple more connectors male side these connectors are really hard to see which one power which one's ground 
but I know that the power is the flat side and the round side is ground. I know this uh, because, and let me get this out of the way because I'm going to end up uh, soldering the bat ESC together. And hopefully my receiver and everything motor, everything else should be okay. Uh, but you never know when you hook something up backwards like that. Anything could, could be wrong now. I could have caused, uh, I, and I heard the click. I don't know if you guys uh, saw it in the video because these are anti-spark connectors. I heard the click. I heard the, the, the anti-spark kick in because there was huge spark because it's connected backwards. And I continued to push. And when it finally made contact, it literally just, it went up in smoke. Those connectors are so hard to like unplug there was no trying to unplug it especially when there's a fire there i don't want my my hands in the way you know what i mean just kind of move my hands out of the way i did see it wasn't hitting the receiver box or anything wasn't burning anything with the rc so just let it smoke out and then uh, get the batteries unplugged quickly because you don't want those things. Uh... And I literally thought the anti-spark thing was just going to melt down on the connector. That's what my brain was thinking anyway. Well, that was wrong. So let me get this thing soldered up. You guys don't need to watch the soldering process because um, I really need to pay attention. I remember I soldered the jumper down here, which was correct, but when I went to put it on the RC car, um, I soldered it wrong. I was basting a turkey. And uh, jumping up and stopping what I was doing because the alarm kept going off to the food. Uh, time to baste turkey, glaze ham, all that stuff. So I'm going to get this done. We'll be right back. All right. Round two. Oh, I still got to glue the switch in. That's the one thing I didn't do. Um did wire it to the ESC though so let's get this uh, glued in real quick so got it fully installed again I say again because it literally is again. So the round side of the connector goes to the black off the ESC. The red side of the connector goes to the flat of the ESC. So don't be like me and do it wrong. And we had to fix this battery end. I had to change it out because this is melted together. No good. Also the antenna tube did suffer which is okay I needed to make it longer anyway so I put a new antenna tube in there and then of course you can see the caps are all black from the fire and the hole right below the center cap um, melted out so this turned into a programming video that I was doing on top of a running video has turned into a fire video So let's try this again, making sure the black goes to the round side. And I should have double checked this, it's my fault, 100%. And like I said, I could have easily just uh, 
left this out of the video. But that's not what this channel is about. So flat side goes to red. Make sure it's red on my battery. Another smoke show. Oh, look. No fire this time. So I'm going to power up the radio. Let's power up the ESC. See what direction it's turning. So it is turning forward, which is good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in one of the programming cards. And Hobbywing used to give you these things for free. And remember, Arma or Horizon is using rebranded Hobbywing ESCs. So these program cards used to work. Now you have to buy the new smart uh, programming card. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the fan because that's where you plug it in. Power is going to be to my right. You need to know that. So the orange wire is to my right. We're going to plug in this one. So ground is going to be to my left. Power it up. Turn off the radio. So, let me bring you guys in a little closer. So, here's your value. Here's your item number. Let me peel this, uh, re this uh, protector off of this so we can see it a little better. I don't know if that's going to help. I'm going to count up how many are here. So, item. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven items. So I believe the face of this, this chart right here, tells you what the 11 items are. So let me take a look at this first item. Running mode. We're going to leave that alone. Item number two, lipo cell. Auto calculation from 2S, 3S, 4S, 6S. We're going to leave that alone. Number three, low voltage cutoff threshold. It's set on three. It's an intermediate. I'm going to set it to two. Okay. Value. We want on number two. Auto low. Okay. Four. B, uh, ESC thermal protection. Number four. We're going to leave that alone. 5. Motor thermal protection. 6 is motor rotation. 7 is BEC voltage, which is set on 1. 6.6 .6 should be fine. And then 8. Max brake force is set to 4, which is 50%. That should be okay. Number 9. Max reverse force is set on 1. 25% should be perfect. Number 10. Start mode punch is set on 3. Level 3. Value. 4. Level 5, hit OK. 11, drag brake. Set to 1, 0%. Make sure that these are right. Forward reverse. Auto calculation. Low voltage cutoff threshold. Is on 2, set to low. 
EAC thermal protection is set to 1, 105. And that's it. Everything else is good. So now I got it set up the way I like it for bashing. So we're going to go ahead and unplug the programming card. And we're going to plug the fan back in. We're going to verify everything works. So I'm going to turn on the controller, turn this back on, make sure the fan works. I only have one fan working. This fan is sticking. You can hear it. So I'm going to make sure no garbage is in there and that all the fan blades are there. All the fan blades are there, but it's like it's hitting the case. That's weird. We'll pop that off and take a look at it as well. But meanwhile, make sure my steering is right, left is good. We are all good there. Turn that off. Get the batteries unplugged. Go. Batteries are unplugged. Didn't burn it up this time, which is a good thing. So white, black, blue in order, which is good. Now I'm gonna take a look at this fan. Probably why it's making noise. See if that still rattles. Oh, batteries are unplugged. It's like, wait, it's not working. There we go. Nice and quiet. It literally pulled out one of the screws from the heat sink, so it's sitting there vibrating. But there we go. Remember, everybody makes mistakes. Even somebody who does it, you know, daily. I work on uh, RCs pretty much every day. And uh, even wiring up a new ESC myself. I ran into an issue. So I'm gonna get these batteries recharged up. They tested fine. All the cells are fine. I'm telling you, these connectors, you gotta solder them good because they literally don't come off. But don't make the same mistakes I do. 
double check what you're doing even when you're plugging in your batteries you know make sure that the ground side is to the ground on the battery and the red side off the ESC is to the red side on the battery that's the important one that you need to make sure is hooked up correctly and uh, that's it but like comment subscribe we'll catch you guys on my next video thanks for watching